It's nothing. Let's just investigate for now. She don't get it. He's like, forget it. Okay. Um, hello, Miss Thing. You look kind of cute. Hey. Um, are you an ultimate okay. student too? Yeah, that's right. Uh, are you the ultimate vampire? What the hell? <laughs> Why is she looking like this? Is that it? She doesn't just talk much. Hi. I'm Kaede. I'm the ultimate pianist. I'm, I'm the ultimate detective. Jeez. Jeez, not suppose. You are the ultimate detective, uh, okay? Okay. Yeah, you're right. Um. And what about you? Maki Harakawa, ultimate child caregiver. Really? You do not give that vibe off at all, girl. <laughs> the ultimate child caregiver. I see. Huh. <sighs> Surprise? I don't look like someone who like kids, do I? Huh? No. You look like someone that will bite someone's neck, okay? And maybe turn into diamonds and shine like diamonds in the light, okay? That's what you look like. <laughs> That's right. Well, you'd be right. I don't like kids that much. But if you're the ultimate child caregiver, then children must like you a lot, right? I don't care. Kids are weird. They come to me on their own. I'm not that good at taking care of them. I'm not that friendly mm -hmm. either. But they say kids are very intuitive. If they like you that much, hey. then they can probably tell how loving you really are, Maki. Mm-hmm. Mm. That must be it. You chose the perfect career for That's yourself. Wrong. It wasn't my choice to begin huh? with. Huh? What do you mean so by that? What? Nothing. It just, I grew up in an orphanage and got saddled with helping out a lot. Aww. Orphanage, um, huh? By the way, do you know anything about the Monica? Yeah, that's right. Yeah, someone's gotta be controlling them, right? Any idea who it might like be? I'd know. How would I know? Hmm. Well, fair point. Hmm, the Monica's are definitely involved in our situation. Uh -huh. Hey, boy detective. <laughs> Shouldn't you have figured out what's going on already? Uh -huh. What? Uh -huh. Well, he's a detective, not a god. He can't know everything. Yeah. I mean, who cares about some stuffed animals? Escaping this place is way more important. Well, Seriously, you think we can escape? Abducting ultimates from across the country would require massive resources and planning. What makes you think a group capable of that would just let us walk out of here? That's not true. If they won't end this, then we will. I know we can do it if we work together. What? Work together with strangers? You're a naive fool if you think you can end this so easily. Huh. I don't know, I feel like she might be sweet. I feel like she's putting on like this like tough persona, but I feel like she might be sweet, okay? So let's look at her, oh, she just left. Our conversation finished, she quickly headed out of the library. Huh, mm. that was kind of odd. She didn't even seem like the ultimate child Jeez. caregiver. Jeez, don't say that. Hmm. Let's look at her report card, let's see. Let's see here, okay. Oh wait, there she goes. Okay, so she dislikes Winter Lake Shores, but she likes Morning Lake Shores. Okay. You know what, y'all are all very tiny, okay? 97 pounds? I'm like double that. No, oh wait, I'm not 180, but like I'm like 164-ish. Like, so y'all are tiny. What a beautiful globe. Hey, let's all head back already. I'm wiped out. Okay. Yeah. Hey. Oh, hold on. I have to get tell you guys huh? something. What now? Like I said, I'm wiped out. Yeah. Now, now, it won't take that long. So just listen to what I have to what say. Is it? Well then, what is it that you have to say? Um, Everyone seems to be treating me like some kind of compulsive liar. Get it? But that's ridiculous. There's a way worse liar than me in our group. Huh? Oh, a liar worse than you. Oh, <laughs> I'm talking about Maki. Huh? Oh, what? What? What do you mean Maki's a liar? Uh. Maki admitted it during the class trial, remember? Ryoma wanted her to show him his motive video because he was looking for a reason uh, to live. Yeah. But that wasn't the whole story. Ryoma was blackmailing me, wasn't he? Huh? Blackmail? Um, Ryoma just so happened to discover Maki's true identity. So he used that to blackmail me. I bet he said something like, if you don't show me my motive video, I'll tell everyone what you really are. That's why Maki didn't want us to know she met with Ryoma. She wanted to keep her true identity a secret. That's why she kept quiet until the very Hold last on. minute. Wait, what, what shit are you making up now? Maki's true identity. <laughs> I've known Maki's true identity the whole time. Oh, oh, for a moment there, I thought Maki had disappeared. She moved so fast. Did she run? <laughs> oh, shit. You know, mm. this is an interesting turn of events. Uh-oh. But would you really kill me in front of everyone? Are you the ultimate assassin? Hey, Maki, what the hell's going on? Right. Yeah. You can probably stab my neck like a twig right now. Huh. That's not your style. Y you would rather kill from the shadows. Right? Huh. Miss Ultimate Assassin. Oh, that's why she didn't want us to get in there. I, I knew it. I was like, is she an assassin? Because she does look like she kills people. I said this before. I think I said that in the first episode. What? And that's why I'm like, why does she have a big ass red door? And cause it looks so ominous. Like she looked like a fucking vampire. But that's cause she's an assassin. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. So we hit, we hit some troops here. The killers, people 
got it by now. So I don't know why they keep separating you. I don't know. Huh? Maki, why is Maki of with course. you? Of course. Well, this is about the flashback light, so everyone should be here, yeah? Thank you, Kaito, for being the only voice of reason here. Thank you for being fair. Sheesh. <laughs> but when you say everyone, do you truly need to include a professional killer? <sighs> I'm leaving. See, look, look, y'all don't need to treat her like this. Y'all don't need to do that. This is probably why she lied and said that she was a child caregiver because if she said, came into the room and said, hey guys, I'm the ultimate assassin, nobody's gonna wanna be around her. They're gonna think that she's gonna kill everyone. Man, Maki, I feel you. I feel you, girl. I, they treat you wrong. Man. Wait, hold on a sec. Kaito gripped Maki's arm before By she leave. Kaito, didn't you say you wanted to take down her mask Got or whatever? It. Yeah, I'm gonna take down her mask as a murderer. Huh? What? Hey, so I just can't believe a girl like her is capable of killing people in cold blood. Um, mm. is it true? Are you really the ultimate assassin, Maki? Have you really killed anyone before? Okay. Has she? Yes. See? Really? Gotcha. Why? How? Why you hide that? Because of the way that y'all are treating her. What you mean? Isn't it obvious? It's so she could kill us all before we figure out her identity. It's wrong. You're wrong. It's because I knew you would react this way. See? See, we here, Maki. I knew that they were... I knew it. I knew you hit it because they thought that you were going to kill them. I know. I know, girl. I'm here. What? Because... When people learn my ultimate talent, they get the same fear in their eyes that you all have. Eventually, that fear will turn to hate. And then someone will try to kill me because they're afraid I'll kill them first. That's... That's not... That's the point. Whenever someone learns my real identity, they try to kill me. It happens every time. Always. Huh? Always. Mm. Hmm. You've lived a pretty sad life, Maki. That's so mean. Oh, poor, poor Maki. I feel sorry for you. I think I'm about to cry. Oh, he's lying. Oh, I see. Because of everything you've been through, human life has no value to you now. Is it that? Jeez. She's an assassin, not some murderous fiend. Even if she did kill someone, that doesn't mean she thinks it's okay to. Hey, can you let go of me now? Oh, <laughs> Kaito finally let go of her arm and Maki let it's out a okay. sigh. I knew you wouldn't believe me. That's why I kept it a secret and tried to avoid you guys as much as I could. But someone who doesn't know how to mind his business kept dragging me places. <laughs> Kaito? <laughs> huh, are you talking about me? No. However, I'll say this. I have no intention of killing any of you unless one of you tries to kill me first. Then that's just self-defense, Maki. I hear you. That's just self-defense. If somebody tries to kill you first, you do what you got to do. I'm not even mad at you, okay? <sighs> Having said that, you probably won't believe me anyway. Then? So, you guys mind your business, I'll mind mine, and we'll all agree to avoid each other. Please, just pretend I'm not even here. Aw, Maki. Hmm. It started out as a threat, but the last bit seemed a little sad. You're so <sighs> dumb. Jeez, Kaito, what were you thinking? Are you trying to turn us against each other? You bitch a You know what? <laughs> Whatever. I'm bringing her. Oh, is he bringing Maki? Huh? Her? Maki? Yay, let's go. Huh? Maki, why is oh Maki God, here? No. That's what I like to know. <laughs> Someone kept buzzing my intercom and I got so fed up, I finally opened the door. Then this guy grabbed my arm and dragged me all the Idiot. way here. Well, don't worry about the small stuff. If we're gonna train, it's more fun with three people than two, what? right? Training, the three of us? Is that really the reason you dragged me here? This is stupid. This is stupid, I'm going huh. back. Huh, you calling this stupid? Listen up. Listen up, when a hero has to fight with a big enemy, they train, train, then train some more. That's what this training is. It's important for a hero like me. Right. So you guys can be like super dog, cat or horse, by my side to help me be the hero. So are you saying be all your sidekicks? Uh, like what? Um, of all the examples you could have picked, right already. did you really think that crazy explanation would convince me to this stay? This is stupid. This is still stupid. I'm going hold back. Hold up. Hey, hold on a sec. When I said I was a hero, that's just from my perspective. But you know. Even super pets think of themselves as heroes. Let's do it. The same goes to both of you. Each of you are the heroes of your own stories. So act more like it. <sighs> She's like, whatever. <laughs> hey. I don't know what you're up to, but I told you both to stay away from me. You know this will end badly if you don't, so why are you being so hey, difficult? So... How long are you going to run away? Huh? What? Kaito brought his face close to Maki's. Hmm. Oh, your mask is coming down. I could tell just by looking at you today. Hmm. So you guys mind your business, I'll mind mine, and we'll agree to avoid each other. Please, just pretend I'm not even here. Hmm. I mean... You're not the terrifying person that others think you are. You're just a coward. Oh. Hey, so... Hey, what's your enemy? My enemy? Jeez. You don't need to tell me what it is, as long as you know it yourself. Listen up. So how long are you going to run away from your enemy? Huh? Run away? Seriously? Yeah, Come you've been on. running away. It's pretty pathetic. That's right. But if you want to stand against it, even a little, huh. I'll train with you so you can be strong. What? Hmm. Maki's getting angry. Kaito's just provoking her. Is he going to be okay? He's antagonizing the ultimate assassin. I don't think that she's going to kill him. I don't think that she's going to kill him. I think that she's going to actually use this anger and train, actually. Hey! So what are you going to do? Hey, Kaito, it's okay. You don't have to. Okay. Fine, I'll do huh? it. 
Huh? You'll do it? Don't get the wrong idea. He'll just bug me about it later if I refuse. Huh, so you do get it. The only way to deal with idiots like him is to give up and just keep nodding. Like, <laughs> that's the reason why I don't argue with people either. It's like, I don't like to argue, okay? Especially if I feel like it's useless. So I would let the other person continue talking and I'll just be like, okay. All right. Okay. Until they finish. Like, just let them let them keep going, okay? Just let them think that they won, all right? <laughs> what? You don't get it at all. Huh. Whatever. You just better get ready. I won't hold back just because you're a girl. Mm -hmm. Well, what are we doing first? All right. All right first, 100 push-ups. Oh? Somehow Maki ended up joining us and the three of us trained together. Hmm. Okay, them two. <laughs> Shuichi's still weak. <laughs> Not bad. Shuichi, you're getting better. <laughs> I love hey, this. Kaido, no slacking today, yeah? Oh. I'm counting your reps. Oh. I'm on fire today. I could easily do 50 push-ups. Oh, can I you? I thought we were doing 100. Hey, All right. What about you, Maki? 100 might be too hard for you, so. I don't think so. 92, 93. <laughs> Go ahead, Maki. You show them, girl. What? That fast? Yes. She's like, I've been doing this, okay? You guys need to catch up. Thank you. Satisfied? 100. I'm done. Maki stood and brushed the dirt from her hands. Totally composed. No. You're done already? What? You're not even out of breath. I guess you trained before, huh? Aren't you breathing a little too hard? It's not like we really pushed ourselves. Well, that's... Before coming here, I did some warm-ups. I already did 500 push-ups. Oh, bullshit. Bullshit, Kaito. <laughs> Kaito, that was the best lie you could come up with. Mm -hmm. Anyway, I'm done, and you can't say I didn't train with you. I'm going back you to the room. Okay, we're doing training tomorrow, too. You better be there. Aw. I think she might come. I think she might come. She made my way to the door and opened it to find. Who? Oh, Maki. Hmm? Huh? Maki? <sighs> Kaito's resting. He says he's not feeling well, and that we should train without huh? him. Just the two of us? Jeez. It's pretty thoughtless of him to bug me to train with you guys and flake but... out. Well, he did say he wasn't feeling well. Why are you making an excuse for you're him? You're right. Oh, no, I guess you're yeah. right. Well, let's just get this over with. I didn't come here to make small talk with you. So we're going to really do this training. Just the two of us. I like it, though. I like Maki. So I would like this one-on-one -on -one time. And that's how Maki and I ended up training together. Huh, very silent. Hey, oh? what is it? Why are you training? Hmm. I don't think a detective needs to do this. Probably hmm. not, but overthinking things and worrying about what I need to do. Uh -huh. When I'm with Kaito, I feel like all of that oh. stuff just fades away. Oh. Do you look up to that idiot? Yes. Uh, I don't know if I'd call it looking up to him. But he's a friend. It's he's just a good friend. I've never been around someone so relaxed and impulsive. You know what would be so wrong? Like, if we are talking about Kaito this whole time, and he ends up being dead. That would be so wrong. That would be just so, that would be so wrong. I think that's exactly what I've been missing all this time. Hmm. I never realized until now how gross it is to hear men <laughs> talk about being manly. <laughs> I like Maki. Maki sprang up and said, Hey. 100, I'm done. Maki seemed nonchalant as she brushed off her hands. <laughs> You're really fast as so usual. What? I used to be forced to do push-ups until I passed out. 100 push-ups is nothing. Okay, so like, I'm guessing that she was raised in a family of assassins. Not that she chose to be an assassin. Because she said she was forced to do it. So maybe that's why she hit it too. Because she doesn't, she didn't want to be that. About Kaito, I sort of understand what you mean. That's true. But I'm a bit jealous of how carefree he is, even if he is useless. I was taught to only value the essentials. I was forced to abandon anything non-essential so they could mold me as they saw fit. Well, After everything they did to me, I sometimes wonder what I am anymore. Oh, poor baby. Poor, I want to go and hug her. Oh my God. I didn't ask to become this way. It just happened to me. After what I've been through, am I still even human? Even Kibo acts more human than me. Because. Aww. But I had no choice but to. This is stupid. Why am I talking to you about this? You can't help but, me. But I'm kind of the same way. Well. I've never once wanted to be a detective. I actually thought it wasn't too great of a job. Uncovering people's secrets for money is the worst. Okay. But now I feel completely different. If it's going to help my friends, I'll do it. And it's Kaede and Kaito that have helped me see things that way. Hmm. So what? I didn't actually hear your story. <laughs> she said, look, I didn't actually hear you. Okay, I'm just talking here. <laughs> 
Maki's face remained un totally unfazed as she turned and walked Maki. away. See you tomorrow, Maki. She didn't reply and kept All right. walking. All right, then. I'm still a little worried about Kaito. He seemed off since this morning. I hope it's nothing serious. Hmm. I hope he's okay. I hope he's not dead. I hope he's not dead. Oh? Yeah. Oh. Welcome back, Maki. You finally came. Hmm. So what's going on? Jeez. You know, Maki, it's not okay to walk around at Why? nighttime. Why? I'm not violating any school regulations, am I? <laughs> Monokuma's regulations don't matter. Uh... Huh? But Kirimi's crime happened during nighttime, right? What? If no one was allowed to walk around at nighttime, that case wouldn't have happened. Indeed. That's why the student council is trying to limit all nighttime well... activity. Limit? So basically you want to take our freedom away? Is that it? My, my. You're so odd, Maki. What's more important, freedom or a person's life? Uh, <laughs> She's like, look, I don't care. Um, we need to remove all worry and doubt so everyone can have a peaceful life here. Because that's what Atua says. Divine. That's what Atua says. Yeah. That's what Atua yes. says. People are afraid of you, Maki, so we prefer if you're more careful. Mm. It's for the peace of the academy. Aw, Maki don't deserve this. Y'all don't gotta gang up on her. Come on now, stop it. <laughs> Guess, man. Maybe she might like this. I don't know. Maybe she might like cufflinks. You must not worry a lot if you're giving presents in a situation like this. Well, it's not like I mind. I'll take it. Okay, thank God. Oh. Sheesh. Hey, Maki, you're an assassin, correct? What is it? I already said that several times. Detectives really are more skeptical than well. necessary. Well, that's part of my job. Anyway, I was wondering how you did your work. I've never heard of assassins working together, but she couldn't be working alone. <sighs> Wouldn't assassination organizations disband after they became known? You're right. That is so true. Much. If you want to know my job, then I don't mind talking about it. It won't be a problem. Maki's voice was confident, but she swiftly averted her hey. gaze. Have you heard of the Holy Salvation Society? No, no that's the first I've heard oh, of. Yeah. Of course, a normal person would have no affiliation to any cults. Hmm. A cult? What does this have to do with your assassinations, though? I see. That's the assassination organization I belong to. Oh, so you're in a cult. Huh? You belong to a cult? You're a detective. Even though you're a detective, you're pretty slow. I'm, it's a new cult from behind the scenes that trains but assassins. That sounds made up. Sure, it's real. The founder is the boss of the organization, and all staff are part of it. The clients ask for a consultation, and the fee is a donation. That's how it's set up. The other believers don't matter. They're there for the founder. I'm not sure of the details. Hmm. Hmm. I can't believe it. A cult like that exists in our country? Hmm. Well, it's fine. They disguise it so those things aren't revealed to the public. Hey. When you hear about a cult, it makes you want to stay away, well. right? Well, yes, it does give off that impression. Well. Being shady like that is just as cover up for illegal things like assassination. As a society, the cult is pretty normal, and it hasn't caused any trouble either. The boss and the staff actually don't believe in their God, but they haven't been punished for their sins. God really doesn't exist in this world. Her tone was neither demeaning nor cold. She sounded as if she's just accepted that's the way things are. Oh, that's kind of robotic. That's kind of sad. Then, then I assume you're a devotee in this cult? That's wrong. Of course not. It may seem that way since I'm affiliated with the cult. Wait, can't you figure that out without thinking? Are you sure you're a detective? That's true, I suppose she could no. be. There are several assassins besides me, but no one is devout. We really don't get along with each other anyway, so I wouldn't That's... know. So you don't share that kind of information with That's me? That's obvious. Of course not. When the time comes, assassin will be cut and disposed of. Oh, her tone changed. She's just accepted it. What did I say to put her into that state of mind? Well, you gotta be careful with Maki. You gotta be careful talking to her. <laughs> came oh Marcy oh uh. huh is she mad what happened uh, okay oh hey bro perfect timing I gotta apologize to you well, too he told me he was going to skip today's training I knew too. it so he still doesn't My feel bad. well it's pathetic but I haven't been able to eat or sleep much since yesterday I think I'll get better if I just rest a little longer okay. you know yeah, sure, Kaito. Do what you have yeah. to do. We'd have to reschedule our training sessions either way, come to think of it. The student council said being out after nighttime is prohibited, huh? right? Well, I told you. if you're feeling sick, that's one thing, but I don't want you to change the training schedule. You don't need to do I that. see. Really? No. But I don't want to skip it, so it'll just be the two of us training huh? today. What, what really? Do you, mean? you don't want to? Do you want to die? Oh, uh -huh. <laughs> dying! Sorry. Oh, sorry, that's an old habit. Just pretend you didn't hear that. I didn't know such a habit well. existed. Anyway, I don't want to give up now. I finally started to think about how I can confront you. Okay. Him. So, if I have to train alone, so be it. Aw, Maki, I'll come with you, baby. Uh, Aw, um. maybe it's just because you're not feeling well, but this is really unlike you, Kaito. I never imagined that you would obey Angie. I thought you did whatever you wanted. My bad. Shuichi, I'm sorry, but can I leave the training to you until I'm feeling okay. better? Of course, Kaito. 
Hmm, go get better, Kaito. I nodded firmly, then chased after Maki and headed to the courtyard. Hey! Maki, about Kaito, you shouldn't worry about it. He's still feeling a little weak because he's sick. I'm sure he's not. Oh? My body stiffened on impulse. Maki's eyes and the entire aura surrounding her had completely changed. Her glare was blazing hot, yet icy cold at the same time. Her very essence was that of ice uh, and fire. Um... Maki? But her glare wasn't aimed at me. It was right past me. Oh? Oh? Such intense hostility. So this is your power. A normal person would have passed out just from the glare. Huh? Tenko? I... Uh-oh. You probably want me to leave, right? But I won't run away. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. I'm not here to fight you, and I don't think you're here to enforce the court here. What? That's right. That's right, Maki. I'm not here as a student council member. I'm here to ask you a favor, a personal uh, favor. Um, a favor from us? Yeah. I don't think she's with the student council. She doesn't sound brainwashed. Um, yeah, I'm not brainwashed at all. What? What is going on? Okay, so what do you want, then? What's up? Hey. Tanko, what are you talking about? I thought you believed no. in Atua. I could never believe in Angie's huh? God. What? No, no, no. I only believe in Aikido, and as long as I have that, I can't be swayed by anything. Aikido values mental fortitude, and Aikido moves are a, flexion, a reflection of that fortitude. Thanks to Aikido, my mental fortitude is too mighty to succumb to Angie's brainwashing. Hey. So you just pretend to be brainwashed? Why would you hey. do that? It's because you're worried about Himiko, aren't you? You pretended to be brainwashed to join the student council, right? Um. I think Himiko has gotten so lazy, she's even given up on thinking for herself. That's why she's depending on Angie, but I think Angie is dangerous. That's right! The student council idolizes Angie so much, they don't see how dangerous she is. That became clear to me after I infiltrated the student council. Angie truly believes in Atua. She believes that she is under Atua's protection. That's why she does whatever she wants. She thinks she's Atua's vessel, so she doesn't feel guilty about anything she does. Um, and that's why you want me to kill her. Huh? huh? No. Asking someone like me for a favor can only mean one thing. Oh? Yes. I won't deny that. I wanted her gone ever, even before all of this happened. And I think everyone has wanted someone to die at least once Listen in a time. But going through it with it is a different thing. It's wrong for a person to commit murder. It doesn't matter what the no. reason is. Do you realize who you're talking no. to? Oh, I'm sorry. That's not what I meant. I... I just want to stop Angie. The resurrection ritual is too dangerous to try. If we get along with Monokuma's motive, it could lead to another killing. But... But the student council won't defy Angie, and I can't stop her on my own. Please! That's why I came to ask you two. You're the only ones who can stop Angie. Huh? Only us. Yes. Well, I obviously can't ask Kokichi, Mew, or Kyo. And Kaito's not feeling well, That's you know? That's true. I see. You didn't have many uh, options. Okay. Yeah, that please. is true. So please help me. You have to convince Angie not to perform the ritual. I'm begging you. Senko bowed down as deep as well, she could. Well then, huh? let's go. L what? We didn't even answer uh, yet. Degenerate Quit complaining males. and do this for me, you degenerate. I'm even bowing to you, and I would never do that for any male. That's not the best thing to say to someone you need a favor from. Ew. You're very sincere. I can tell that you're not used to asking others for help. By the way. So what will you do, Shuichi? This seems like something you ignore. This is something I ignore? Who do you think I am? No. No, I'll do it. I was just thinking is all. I agree with Tenko that it is dangerous to go along with my Hey! Degenerate then male! Then do something about it already. I thought males were supposed to be decisive. Uh, Sneak attack! I guess I'll forgive you, though. Now, let's go convince Angie together. She should be preparing the ultimate ritual right now in the ultimate artist lab. Mother, I'm going to. Of course. I wouldn't ask for just Shuichi for help. I just agreed to help, and this is how you treat me? Oh, well, I'll just go to Angie's lab. Look, you're a man, okay? She already don't like your ass, okay? <laughs> You should let Shuichi teach you how to apologize. He's really no. good at it. Really? That's the first time I've Piece heard that. Cake. Don't worry. I'll use my own words to apologize to Himiko. Well then, see you tomorrow. Good night. Hmm. Waving happily, Tenko returned to her room. <sighs> she bounced back rather fast. I guess I didn't need to oh. worry. You were worried? What? Huh? Is it weird for me to worry? Do you want to die? Do you want to die? <laughs> huh? There's that habit again. Well, I suppose on a positive side, she's able to act more like herself well, around me. What about the ritual? Have you given up on persuading no. Angie? I don't want to give up, but changing her mind might require less orthodox methods. I need to think of another mm. way. Less orthodox methods. Got it. I'll think about it. Hmm. Maki hurried back hmm. to her room, so Maki's going to think about it too. I didn't expect that, but I'm glad. Huh. Especially now that I'm able to talk about things more with Maki. I don't know a lot about this place, but I don't know a lot about anyone either. That could be a good thing, or it could be a bad thing. Hmm. Someone's dead this morning. Somebody gotta be dead. And he's still- Why we keep showing him? He's still dead. He's still not saying nothing. Oh? Who's at the huh? door? 
the intercom this early in the morning? I wonder who it could be. No, oh, Maki's starting to be my friend yeah. now. What's with that face? Look like you just woke huh? up. I did just wake up. The announcement was just a minute ago. Yeah. You woke up to that? If you rely on the announcement as your alarm clock, you'll start getting used to this place. Okay. Well, I suppose that's true. Right. It's fine. Let's just stop the ritual. Huh? Kaito? Okay. I heard from Maki roll. It seems like Angie's gonna do the Maki roll. What? Don't give me such a weird nickname. Oh. You brought Kaito here? Huh? Why? Is that weird? We need a backup plan in case the straightforward approach fails. Who better than Kaito for a less than straightforward approach? But, but Kaito, are you feeling okay? <laughs> huh, we don't have time to be worried about me. We gotta split a stop to this ridiculous resurrecting the dead crap. Okay. And then we can finally drop that topic or else I'm gonna last. I'm not gonna last. <laughs> not gonna last. Kaito, are you um, scared? Uh, huh? No. It's just that I remember that you said you don't like talking about ghosts and stuff. Because. Now that I think about it, you've been acting strange ever since we started talking about resurrecting the dead. Shut up! Don't be stupid, there's no uh, way. Um, so I was right. Minute. Wait, you mean the reason you didn't come to training is because you're scared? So... It's not that I'm scared, it's just, just how my body is. I'm fine when it comes to cramped areas, space, and zero gravity, but ghost stories, since I was a kid, whenever I heard them, I start to feel sick. Kaito was looking more and more pale as he spoke. Because of that, I haven't been able to eat or sleep since all this crap started. Mm. So that's what happened. Okay. So let's hurry and stop Angie so we can put an end to all this spooky stuff. If things get any scarier, I'll seriously die from a heart attack. Yeah. Oh? Why are you looking at me like that? Unbelievable. You always act like you're not afraid of anything. Shut up! Shut up! Let's just stop. go stop Angie already. Come on, bro. Come on, Maki Roll. Hurry up. I told you. Seriously, don't call me Maki um. Roll. Anyway, let's go on to Angie's lab. That's a cute little nickname, Maki Roll. You're my little Maki Roll. <laughs> Training sessions for a second. We haven't done it for a while. <laughs> Shuichi. Ah, huh, good. You're here, bro. Oh. <laughs> yeah, it's been so long since the three of us have done That's this. That's true. It's because Kaito was scared of ghosts. <laughs> I wasn't scared. Wait, don't make me think about them. When I first met Maki and Kaito, I never could have imagined hanging out like All this. Right. Anyway, let's get started. First off, 100 sit-ups. You guys better get pumped up. All right, you better count your reps, sir. The three of us lined up on the grass and started our routine. All right, there we go. One, I like this. Two, three, mm -hmm. 25, 26, <laughs> 27. Show them out, girl. Maki, you're way too fast. When you really think about it, the universe is impossibly fast. Oh. Hey, less talking, more working. Right. What about your sit-ups? He never tried to do his works. Kaito. Kaito? He's just daydreaming. He's not even training. Kaito stood up slowly, his body hesitant. He is still sick. Ugh. Sorry, gotta use the bathroom. Hmm. Kaito slowly began walking away toward the school building. Hmm. I wonder what's wrong. He's not in much of a hurry for needing me to go That's to the bathroom. True. Do you want me to go check on him? I just finished doing my 100 sit ups. Huh? What, already? But, but maybe you shouldn't go because it's the boys' bathroom. Hmm. <laughs> Did that not occur to you? Do you wanna die? Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> well, it's fine. By the way. By the way, this seems like a good time to yeah. ask, but did you like Kaede? Hey, she knows. She picks up on it. We here. Wait, let me not say that because they not say that it's a killer. So let me not say that's Maki. I like Maki. So, but yes, I think that he did. Huh? huh? Weirdo. Well, I assumed you did it because that should, would uh, be weird. Um, what do you mean weird? I don't understand. Like it's someone you just met, especially in a situation like this. Um. Well. Then, then tell me, under what circumstances like is someone not huh? weird? Huh? I don't know. I don't really understand what nope. that is. Never mind. Just forget I have no. asked. Forget you asked? Why did you bring this up, oh Maki? God, no. no reason. I was only huh? curious. No um, reason. Maki, you're being cruel. You asked me a personal question and act like you don't God. care? Hey, were you guys making out when I was gone? Hell no. Perfect timing, as always, Kaito. Uh, um, anyway, what's wrong, Kaito? Why did you leave all of a sudden? Uh, I drank too much water before training, but I emptied myself out, so I'm good now. Let's go! So let's continue where we left off. Let's get pumped up for sure this yeah. time. Continue. I don't recall you doing even one yet, Kaito. Right. So from the beginning, of course you guys are going to restart with me. I already finished doing my 100. Huh. Don't be so cold. No road is long with good company, right? <laughs> I don't think that phrase applies to this. All right. Kaito threw up in the bathroom. I bet he did. Let hmm. your sweat wash away all your sadness, fear, worry, and hardships. He's still not doing anything. He's still not doing anything. Just start moving your body and your pain will become memories before you know it. Then you should um, train too. You, right, do well, it. I don't have anything to worry about. Cause, huh? I mean, I'm Kaito Momota, luminary of the stars. That's his reason for not working out, because he's Kaito. <laughs> hey, no fair, Kaito. He's basically a host of these workout sessions, because he doesn't do a damn thing. 
In the end, Kaito convinced us to do all of our sit-ups over. But Kaito and I had to give up, and only Maki was able to finish. I mean, Kaito didn't even do anything. What is he giving up? He never started. I'm so tired. A lot's happened today, but there's still something bothering me. That flashback light this afternoon. All those meteorites, the gopher project, the mysterious cult organization. Are they connected to the ultimate hunt? Or the funeral? Or the killing game? Those answers might save us. Hmm. But no matter how hard I try to solve it, it's all a mystery. Thinking about everything I saw, I had fallen asleep before I knew it. Lord, I suck at gift giving today. I really do. <laughs> Oh, just you? This is an announcement. Oh? Uh, what, what time is it right now? I forgot. Actually, I've always been alone. I forgot that too. I can't remember. I feel like I used to have someone very important to me. I can't remember. I knew it. He's helpless without me. Poor Monotaro. Okay, I thought Pink was dead. I thought the pink one was dead for a second. Huh. All right, time to go training. Kaito and Maki should be in the courtyard. All right, let's leave. Hmm. I suck at gift giving, man. I thought I was gonna be able to get something. I should have just gave him some food. I don't know. Oh, hmm. Kaito was wrong. Do you have to go to the bathroom again? Nope. He's been like this because of what happened. What happened? What's wrong? Are you not feeling well? Ah. No, I'm fine. My stomach just hurts is all. Hey, for today's training, instead of exercise, huh. how about the three of us just talk? Huh? Huh? What? Talk? About what? Idiot. Stupid. Nobody decides what they talk about before they start. Well, let's go find somewhere to sit. Kaito picked a random spot in the courtyard and we all sat down. Hmm. He wants to talk about life because he knows that he's dying. So what are we gonna talk about? I don't didn't you just say we didn't have to decide that? Right. Come on, man. That was just a joke. Uh, uh right. Then um, let's talk about Maki. Oh. Me? What about me? You right. Know, like general stuff about you. Hmm. There's a lot of stuff we don't know. For True. example, what blood type do you like? What huh. blood type do I like? <laughs> don't you mean what's my blood type? He's saying it like she a vampire, you know? <laughs> hmm? Did I say something weird? Well, yes. whatever. <laughs> uh, Kendo, you're kind of bad at this. Right. Then you ask something. What's your question for her, huh? <laughs> guinea pig to you guys? Right. You know, She's I like, what is this? meaning to ask. When mm -hmm. we first met, you said you were the ultimate child caregiver. Why was that? She had a lie. Shuichi, that's way too direct. You can't just cut to the chase like that. Uh, really? Sorry. All right, then. Well, Let's play it safe and ask her about her favorite spaceship. I grew up in an orphanage. Aww. I don't know anything about my parents. They were gone before I can remember. Aww, I'm so sorry, baby. Maki slowly began to tell us her story. Aww. Aww, look at her. At the orphanage where I lived, the older kids had to take care of the younger ones. Mm. Because of that, I started looking after the younger ones. Not that she wanted to, but just because she was put in that position. Oh, my see. gosh. So that wasn't a lie then. For hmm. some reason, kids like me. <laughs> She's like, I'm I don't know why. I'm particularly fond of taking care of them. Aww. Maybe that suits you better than being an assassin. Hmm. It's not a matter of whether it suits me or not. I never had the right to choose from the start. Huh? The right to choose? <laughs> when I was around 10 years old, these strangers started visiting the orphanage. At first, they seemed like normal, kind men. With smiles on their faces, they watched the kids play, but then the men never approached them. They can back on it. I'm sure they were scoping out our talents. Huh? They were scouting for assassins, and that's why you were picked? Okay. I didn't want to go, but I heard they would donate a huge sum of money if I did. I remember thinking that I had to go, but that was the beginning of hell. Oh, baby. Mm. Ever since that day, I trained to become an assassin. Oh. I think I had some natural talent to begin with, but I worked incredibly hard as well. Oh, if wow. If I couldn't keep up as an assassin, the orphanage would no longer receive funding. Oh. And then, I wouldn't have a purpose in life anymore. Oh, so she really does care about them. She might not show it that much, but she does care about the kids, even though she says she's not fond of taking care of them. She really cares about them because she basically gave up her own life for them. Wow. Training was difficult. I vomited every day and cried every night. But mm. after vomiting and crying over and over again, my heart gradually became empty. Oh. Eventually, I got used to it. Oh, it baby. It was the same after my first job. For a while, I couldn't eat or sleep. But after doing this for such mm. a long time, I felt numb. Oh, that's, oh man, that's so sad. That is so sad. There were so times sad. I wondered why I had to kill these strangers. But I eventually mm. stopped thinking about that. And, and just stopped caring. lifestyle of killing people, of stealing their lives, and mm. of being a horrible person. You're Even not a bad person, day, Maki. I think the same thing after I finish a mission. Mm. What is it? What would I have been like if I stayed at the orphanage? I still think about Aww. that all the time. Oh, 
Maki sighed deeply after burying her soul. Oh, little Maki roll. I'm so sorry, baby. <sighs> That's all. It wasn't an interesting story to listen to, was it? Okay. Interesting. No, Maki, that was the burden you've been carrying all this. Ah. Jeez, you're carrying too many burdens for someone so small. You know. Well, I could say the same to Shuichi. Uh, really? Uh, listen up. Don't try to shoulder everything on your own. You gotta trust other people. Once you're able to share your burdens with your friends, you then you'll be stronger. <laughs> well, if Maki Ro will be able to talk this much, it means she's gotten a bit stronger already. Mm. That's true. It might be thanks to the Got training. It. Well, obviously, my training is based on a systematic uh, method. Um... That's kind of vague. I like this. Yes, Mark is opening up. We spent a long while talking about whatever came to our minds. Most of it was meaningless conversation, but it might have been the first time I was able to actually have fun and forget this place to protect my friends. I need to reveal the truth of this academy. I need to face the truth and reveal it to the world. I'm just glad that Maki is opening up, that to even open up her backstory, get some friendship shards, crystals, whatever. All right, let's spend time with Kaito. Let's spend time with him. It's oh, no use. It's no use. I wouldn't even know what to say with it. Oh, I can't talk to him. Oh, damn it. <laughs> Jeez. He tries to look cool by calling himself a hero, but whenever he does something reckless, we have to clean up after him. Should I hang out with her? Yes, I should. I like Maki. You need to take care of him, okay? That's your job as a sidekick. No, I'm not his sidekick. It's just hard to talk to him right now. I spent some time with Maki. All right, we do a little closer, yada, yada, yada. Would I like to give her a present? Yes, I would. What would Maki like? Like, I, I um, She might like this. I don't know, grip, hand grips? Like, I mean, because she does fights. So I don't know, maybe yes. Maybe. I didn't think I would get something like this from you, but I have nothing to give in return. Is that okay with you? Hey. Hey, Maki, I noticed all those weapons in your lab. Do you know how to use them all? Yes. Uh, did I upset her again? Sorry. I'm sorry, did I ask something wrong? So Not really. It's just it's strange that you keep asking me irrelevant questions. Depending on the situation, my weapons change, but I know how to use them all. Mm. Oh, is that right? I imagine stealthy weapons when I think of assassinations. We use those too, but I most likely have knives, also poison, sniper rifles, jujitsu, bombs. Huh? Bombs for an assassination? A warning kill has to be flashy. I've turned a five-story building into a four-story one before. You can control an explosion to destroy just one floor? How frightening. No wonder she's the ultimate so assassin. Much. It's rare to be that flashy though. Normally disposing one target hey. is enough. So what kind of people have you assassinated? What, are you talking about? what do you mean? Uh, um, well, I only know about assassinations from movies and I stuff, see. so. This will probably disappoint you, but I don't kill only bad people. Because? Oh, I kill anyone on my orders list. It doesn't matter who the person mm. is. She said, look, anybody can get it. It's on site, all right? Anybody can get it. <laughs> I suppose that's just the way it I is. See. But I've also had to dispose of people who I knew well. Huh? But I'm like, who? Okay. Friends from school. Uh -huh. Friends? Why would you have to do that? Well. A daughter of a Yakuza leader. She was a child of a mistress with no ties to the game. Her father loved her very much, which is why she was seen as dangerous. The Yakuza elites decided to have her removed in case rival groups used Wait. her. Wait! But, but she didn't do anything wrong. Okay. Yeah, but I did as I ordered. Uh, I suppose you had to. I mean, mm -hmm. you had no choice. Yeah, that's when I realized this was my life now. I heard them calling it an act of God. I don't believe in that. I also don't intend to blame it on anyone else. Well, so you may think it's unreasonable to kill someone on that count of other people, but everyone does what they can to live. You, me, and everyone I've murdered. I kill, but I can also be killed. That's all. Hmm. The cold and indifferent Maki has been overwhelmed by words. I have never seen that happen before. I couldn't think of anything to say. Sheesh, man, she killed friends? My God. I mean, but I guess she didn't have a choice, so. Hey, staggering from the weight of Maki's story, I return to my room. There's still some time. There we go. Got a minute? Do you have a minute? Hmm. Maki was well, wrong. Kaito asked me earlier to show him my research huh? lab. Huh? Your hmm. lab? I might as well show him since I know he won't take no for an answer. So you have to come too. Oh? You think that he's gonna kill you in there? Like, what is it? She wants me to go? Maki invited me, so I should go. So, let's go. What's happening? Ah. Uh. Ah, uh, sorry I'm late. Huh, huh? Okay. Oh, so you came too. Uh, okay. Yeah. Oh, she's trying to make them talk. She's trying to make them talk. She set them up so that they could go ahead and get whatever beef they got out of the way. She's like, get this out of the way so we can get back to training, all right? <laughs> silence. <sighs> As if utterly bored by the painful silence, Marcus started a conversation. Why did you ask to see my research lab so suddenly, Kaito? Ah. Well, I just wanted to see what kind of weapons were here. What? What? Why would you want to see my you weapons? Know. But wow, there's a ton of stuff here. Can you use all these, Maki Roll? Yes, more or less. 
So... But there's no swords of any kind here, Japanese or Western, right? That's true. I don't use swords of any type, not after I botched a mission with the katana. Hmm. hmm, I see. Either way, I don't feel like weapons really suit women. Excuse me? Hey. Care to explain why you wanted to see my weapons? Ah. Didn't I tell you this morning? I've got a plan figured out. Huh? Oh, what's that in the back case over there? The black case, my bad. <laughs> As if backing away from the conversation, Kaiso headed to the far bookcase. Hmm. So... What's in it? Is it some kind of weapon? Then... If you want to know, why don't you just open it? Hmm, let's see. And then Kaito pulls something from the black case. Hmm. Oh, what's this? It's a bunch of parts? See. It's a dissembled crossbow. Ooh. Huh? So when you put them together, they become a crossbow. Looks interesting. Hey, Makiro, can you teach me how to put it together? Sure, sure I don't mind. What are you trying to do, Kaito? Are you trying to kill put Peaches? This and this together. Mm-hmm, y'all looking kind of um, cute together. Like this? Uh-huh. And then put that other part in the opposite way. Mm. Wait, that's wrong. Oh, my bad. It goes this way. I like them together. Mm -hmm. Then next, it's... Oh. While watching those two, the memory of a similar scene came to my mind. Oh, he's thinking about Kaede. Oh, he's thinking about his bae. Kaito struggling while Maki gave him instructions. Eventually, they succeeded in putting together the crossbow. Oh. Whoa, since I built it, it became an extra cool crossbow. So it doesn't matter who built it, That's though. right. It seems like it's a bit complicated, but I think I could do it by myself hey. next time. Shuichi, do you want to learn, too? No. Oh, no, that's all right. I sort of understand from watching anyway. Then let's put it away. You can easily take it apart by reversing Are you steps. serious? Wait, do I have to do it? Who else is going to do bad. it? Yeah, sorry. I don't feel too good again. What? Huh? It seems like I'm not at 100%, so I'm going to go back Got first. Hey, so did he just leave? Did he leave with the Did he leave with the crossbow? Ignoring Maki trying to stop him, Kaiso fled the room. Hmm. Jeez. I knew he wasn't the type to clean up, but I never thought he'd run away with a crappy oh, lie. Man. How frustrating. Well. He's the worst. Well, that's just Kaito. You're the worst, huh? too. Huh? Well. I'm sure you know why I invited you, right? Okay. Yeah, I do. You were trying to get Kaito and I to make you up. Know? It's not like he hates you or anything. He's just being stubborn. But, but I just don't know what to say to him. I had no choice. Going to... If I didn't do something, everyone would have died. I don't think it'd be right to apologize for that. Hey. He's right, though. I'm not, I'm not apologizing for us living. You got me... You know. You got me messed up. No. I'm sorry, Maki. I just need more time. I didn't realize you two would require such high maintenance. Sorry. Sorry. But now that she mentions it, I didn't realize it either. I didn't realize Maki would be so concerned about us. Thank you. Thank you, Maki. Ooh. Maki's so sweet. I love her. But don't worry. I truly want to end this killing. Oh. Suddenly a dark shadow slid between us, quick as a flash. Oh. Ooh. Maki. Tell us the truth. Mm. What are you scheming? Like uh -oh. I said. I just want to end this killing game. That's all. Uh oh. If you don't tell us the truth, then I'll break you. Oh, Maki, don't do it. <laughs> Maki, roll. Cut it don't out. Don't do it. You'll get killed if you don't. Right. I don't told do you it. we can't play this killing game. That's just what Monokuma wants. Right, baby girl. I would love for you to do it. Like this scene looks beautiful to me, but like I don't want you to die. Like I don't. I don't want you to die, baby girl. Put him down. Maki let go and Kikichi's body fell in a heap on the floor. No, she's dangerous. There's nothing more dangerous than a heated Maki roll. If a Maki roll gets too heated, you can burn your tongue. All right, she's like, you don't get to use that joke. Only Bay does. Only Kaito. Kaito can call her Maki roll. <laughs> Did you see those eyes? They were like a predator looking at his well. prey. You may have deserved that, Himiko. But it's true that this is quite unexpected. I didn't think we'd be able to stand together as one again. And it's thanks to Maki. While we were sedentary, feeling sorry for ourselves, she was planning. I suppose it might also be thanks to Kaito. Because Kaito was worried about her, she promised to work hard to do her best. Of course, if I pointed that out, she'd ask me if I want to die. Wait a minute. What are you looking at? Sorry. Sorry, nothing. Hey. Let's do our best, and the three of us can train uh, together again. Okay. Yeah, right. Huh, all right. Does that mean you guys made up before he died? Yes, we did, in that little yeah. window. We and sure I went did. I to see him yesterday. Mm -hmm. I see. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'll talk about it. There we go. Especially since it's my responsibility for involving everyone. Thank you, Maki. Shuichi. Thank you. You're so persistent. Were you always like that? Um, I think so. Yeah. Maybe Kaito's charisma is starting to rub off on me. Hmm. That guy could be pretty stubborn. And that's your baby. I know. Then this game and the battle between hope and despair would end. Hmm. I was confident in my talent as an assassin. 
Mm -hmm. I knew I would be able to do it. Of course you would. I don't doubt you. We've tried to <laughs> end all. this killing game before, but hmm. you were naive. Yeah. Huh? That's what I thought. Hmm. I knew Kokichi would take advantage of my naivete. Simply because it's him. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Maki totally gets me. I don't want to hear you. That's I don't want to hear you talk. I needed to settle it myself. I took the poison arrows and the crossbow. Mm -hmm. And broke into the hangar with an exosol. Mm. But when I entered the hangar, I saw something I never expected. Oh? Oh, what did you see? Kaito and Kokichi were fighting each other. Oh. Kokichi was shot in the arm with a crossbow arrow. Mm -hmm. Probably by Kaito when he fought back. Yeah. Both of them stopped and looked at the exosol, most likely surprised by its sudden appearance. Mm -hmm. Kokichi immediately took out his remote and attempted to control the exosol I was in. Oh. Oh, really? I jumped out of the exosol before he could mm. and shot Kokichi in the back with an arrow. A poison arrow. That mate. should have been enough no. to stop him, since the arrow was coated with poison. Huh. The Strike 9 poison, correct? But why pick that particular poison? Right. Some of the poisons in my lab were far more lethal. Mm -hmm. I wanted Kokichi to confess his true intentions before he died. Oh, make him struggle a little bit. I see. To find out why he huh. was always lying and trying to confuse us. Maybe that's what just how he's mean? built. Some people are like that. Some people like to cause despair and and drama and just troll you just because it's fun for them. So I don't know. If he was the mastermind, it would have been easier for him to hide in the shadows, right? Hmm. He could have made it seem as if the late Junko was secretly behind this killing game. Please no. <laughs> that way. Please he could no. reveal himself as the surprise mastermind to liven up the game. Hmm. Because of his suspicious actions, anyone would already suspect him as the mastermind. Very true. Especially with that message in the courtyard. Huh. Kokichi said it was a hint. But was it necessary for him to go out of his way just for a hint? Exactly, it wasn't. As a it wasn't. Of despair, I imagine he wanted to feel the despair of his plan being thwarted. Uh-huh. I think that if he wanted the thrill, he would have carried out the plan carefully. Hmm. So when his carefully laid out plan goes to waste, he would be in utter despair. And love it. Yeah, that's a good point. Maki must have wanted huh. to hear it directly from Kokichi himself. But it was hmm. pointless. I was a fool for thinking I could have a serious talk with him. Mm-hmm. Oh, ooh. What are you talking about? Ah. Remnants of despair? What's that? Oh, you don't know what that is? I don't understand anything you're saying. I like the scene, though. I'm liking the scene. It, I'm looking a little cold here. I'm not gonna lie. Anyway, why are you starting a killing game when it should have ended? Mm -hmm. Already know it's all meaningless. In that I'm the mastermind. I don't believe you. Do you love killing that much? Hmm. Oh. Shut up, you asshole! Oh. I realized it was pointless to continue the conversation, so I shot the final arrow. Mm. Then... Oh? <gasps> no! Yeah. Kaito! What? No! Kaito Oh my Kokichi? god, why? 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 Why would Kaito protect Kokichi? Oh my god, why? No, At that Kaito. Moment, my mind went blank. I knew I had to do something about the poison. Oh my god. I rushed to Shuichi's research lab for the antidote. So mm. you didn't have the antidote with you at the time. So you were trying, I trying to try to come back. poison to torture huh. Kokichi for info. But I planned to kill him from the start. Oh my god. <laughs> That's so mean. Oh my god. Ko I mean, not Kokichi. Kaito, why Why would you jump in front that of the was damn... My first mistake. Oh my god. Because of that. Mm. Because you of that, what happened? I ended up killing Kaito. Oh my goodness. When I returned with the antidote, the hangar shutter had been closed. He was already I dead. it was Kokichi's doing. But because of that, I couldn't enter the hangar anymore. Oh my goodness. I needed to give Kaito the antidote somehow. So I went to the bathroom window. Mm. Kaito, can you hear me? Mm. Quick, drink this antidote. Oh my god. After calling out to him, I chucked the antidote through the bathroom window. Oh Kaito my noticed God. it and grabbed the antidote. But Kokichi stole it from him. You bitch! Ooh, you bitch ass Kokichi. Oh so, my God. But I can't die here. Oh my God. I'm 
the mastermind of this killing game. Wait, oh there's only God. one antidote. Oh, oh, there's only one? You don't have to worry about Kaito. He fulfilled his dream, right? I mean, technically, yes, he did go to space, but he didn't know it, so he need a redo. So we can't, we can't do this, he man. He went to space. Oh my God! Oh my God! Damn it! Mm. Stop! He couldn't share it. He couldn't share the dose. Ooh, oh my God! I feel so much better. I guess that's a wrap. Oh or man! Maybe not, because now another class trial is going to start. Last trial? Oh my god. The Blackened for this case, you know. The Blackened who killed Kaito. Oh I, my goodness. I killed him. Shut it. Screw mm. the class trials. Like hell am I gonna let you have your way? Oh, poor Kaito. Kaito. Why did you protect Kokichi? Right. Why did she you jump in the him? way? I couldn't help it. Oh my god. Even if it's Kokichi, I, I can't have you kill anybody. So you had me kill you? Like what? what? Oh, oh Kaito my wasn't protecting me. He was protecting Maki. Mm. The situation just got way worse. Oh, Maki oh is gonna God. become the black and responsible for killing you. All because you protected me. Oh my God. So don't you worry, Maki Roll. I'm not gonna die that easily. Oh, just then he's calling me. for Maki Roll. I'll put an end to this killing game. So then he decides <laughs> to try to do something You're to him? You're still full of energy, even like that. Huh. You really are. Not boring. Huh. What? <laughs> I want to see what a dying Kaito can do. Excuse so, me? Show me what you've got. I won't meddle with your plans. What, what? are you? Right. Don't mind me. Run, Maki Roll. Just hurry up and run. Run and live. You gotta live. Oh, Kaito, my goodness, man. Y'all would have been the best couple. Oh, I my God. to give up. I tried to enter the hangar by breaking the control panel with my knife. Mm. Yeah, oh, that's why it had scratches. Oh, okay. Because I was wondering. I was like, did the Exosol do that? I had no idea. So that's where the marks mm. in the control panel came from, huh? Yeah. She was trying to get in there. I returned to the bathroom window once more, but I didn't see anyone. Oh, man. The bathroom door was closed. I called out, but neither Kaito nor Kokichi answered. I couldn't do anything anymore. All I could do was leave. Oh That's when goodness. I made up my mind. As the blackened who killed Kaito, I would kill Kokichi during hey. this class trial in exchange for well. all of your lives. Oh, well, well, not for that part. Not for that part. Don't so kill us. That's okay. Uh, don't kill and us, Kikichi, but... Knowing what he knew still helped Maki cover up her crime? Because he wants to make stuff juicy Was for himself. Is that why you smushed Kaito in the hydraulic press? Mm. Kaito wanted Maki to be spotless. As oh. his friend, I felt obliged to help him. Oh my god. How dare you make fun of him! Right. You call yourself a friend? You enjoyed watching us suffer! Mm. You fucking asshole! Mm. Ooh, Maki is so scary. Good thing I'm in this exosol. You better hope she can't get in there. You better I'm hope. I'm sure Maki would have already killed me if I was out there in the flesh. I and I, I don't think nobody would stop her either. So, what are everyone's plans now? With the truth oh out my god. Order, who are you guys going to vote for? You can vote for me, mm. but if you do, we'll all die together. Oh or my god. Or vote for Maki and live. Mm. Well, choose whichever you want. I don't care either way. Oh, why'd it have to be Maki? Why'd it have to be Maki? Oh my god! Oh my god. Why are you so calm? Your life depends on this too. Right. Who cares? Just choose already. Come on, who are you gonna vote for? Mm. No, we can't vote yet. We don't have the Thank whole you. truth. Thank you. This case isn't over. What happened in the room before Kaito died? Huh? Huh? What happened in the room Thank before he died? Thank you for telling us everything, Maki. Thanks to you. I finally understand. What happened when Maki walked away? There's another hidden truth within your testimony. Uh-huh. A hidden truth? Yes, mm. I'm positive. Because huh. there's something wrong with the testimony you've given us. The part of Maki's testimony that doesn't add up is... Hmm. Huh. Kokichi drinking the antidote or Maki becoming blackened? Kokichi drink... No? Okay, Kaito. I'll fight until the end. Stop. Even if you fight the Exosols, you'll just get killed, damn it. The remote control and the last electro bomb we were crushed in the last in the press. No, I won't give up. 
Maki roll. Enough already. I've never felt this way before. I've always fought to kill, but this is the first time I've fought to protect someone. Huh? huh? And I've never been given a nickname like Maki roll before either. Oh, baby. Oh, my goodness. See? She loves him. She loves this man. Oh, my God. I'm so sorry, baby. What? You. I... And I've never met someone as stubborn as you before. <laughs> and I've never fallen for someone before. Oh, baby. Oh, what? my goodness. Maki roll. No. Oh. I don't want this to end. I just I won't don't. Let you kill That's him. why I won't let you kill Kaito. I absolutely won't let you. Oh, Maki roll. I'm sorry, but that's not an option. I don't have as much time left as you think. I'm fighting just to stay standing. I... But Wait, I. So... Hey, Maki roll. I asked you before. What's your enemy? Before you hated yourself so much. You didn't even like yourself a little. And wasn't that the reason you tried to distance yourself from others? That's right. You decided that you didn't deserve to have friends, didn't you? That was your enemy. Don't worry about it. But not anymore, huh? You're all right now. <laughs> you fell for a guy like me. Oh, oh, my God. Now you can learn to like yourself. Mm. Oh, Come baby. On, Don't cry. Can't you send me off with one last I smile? I believe in you. You guys, too. I'm not going to allow any tears. Send me off with a bang. Bang, bang, gang, gang, man. Oh, my God. Kaito. Oh. Okay. All right, Kaito. I won't I'll cry. Endure it. Me, too. I'm going to hold it in. Yeah, I'll endure I... it. I can't cry, even if I Dude. wanted to. Hey, sorry about the wait, Monokuma. You can go ahead and start okay. now. Can dun, do. Dun, dun. Oh boy, my first punishment time. I've never seen right. one before. But let me just say this to the true master mind control in my Get ready. You better get ready. My friends aren't going to lose to you. Dude. That's please. all. I'll leave the rest to you guys. End this ridiculous please killing do game. Not worry. We'll end it, so please don't Shuichi. worry. And Shuichi, never forget, you're not alone. You have friends. Don't try to do everything by yourself, okay? Okay. Yeah, Kaito. Okay. The impossible Don't forget, is the impossible is possible. All you gotta do is make okay. it so. Thanks, Kaito. Maki oh, roll. Maki. How long are you gonna cry? You should smile. I can't. That's impossible. I can't. <laughs> of course. My bad for making you cry like that. Oh. All right. All right then. Let's end this with a bang. A special punishment luminary suited the to the luminary of the stars. Okay, okay. You don't gotta tell me. I'm excited to get, get this started. Ready. Oh yeah. Well, screw you. I'm not gonna die the way you want. It's punishment oh, man. time. Oh my God. I feel so sorry for Maki, man. She confessed her love and everything to Kaito, and now he's gonna die. Oh my God. 